The overarching theme of the research carried out in the Division of Biological and Environmental Sciences and Engineering is to understand the mechanisms through which organisms adapt to the environment. Studying these adaptive mechanisms has uh, repercussions with a number of challenges facing mankind, understanding the adaptation uh, of plants to extreme environments for food security, understanding how uh, the environment modifies uh, living organisms and how to make them more resistant to the changing environment, and in general, uh, uh, to understand the mechanisms of uh, diseases. The main topics of the divisions are epigenetics, neuroscience, stem cell biology and regeneration, and the technologies that support these efforts. My lab is focused on understanding the molecular mechanisms of cell migration in model cell types such as stem cells, immune cells, and cancer cells. In some cases, we want to promote the migration of stem cells to specific locations within the body. In some cases, though, we want to also inhibit their migration in the case of detrimental cancer cell. If we can understand how they're regulated, we can try to inhibit their expression. As a result, inhibit the metastasis or the spread of cancer. The main focus of my research is on coral reefs and I'm looking at several aspects of movement ecology by matching uh, baby fish in one location to the genetic fingerprints of adult fish in another location. We can actually tell where fish spawned and where the babies ended up later. The work that we do allows a manager in a given area to know exactly what type of protection they can use to make sure that there will be fish for every generation to come. The main focus of my research, precisely put, is structural biology and molecular biophysics. Our major techniques allow us to determine the three-dimensional structure of proteins. These methods allow us to have a resolution of protein at atomic scale. If you understand the system really well, we can change it, use it for different purposes. We have a project which should allow us to engineer and combine proteins in a way that they be a salt sensor, which is something which seems basic, but it's very difficult to do. The research in the division, like any academic research, is investigator driven. In addition to this, there are some structures that, that facilitate individual creativity, and one is uh, the centers. The Red Sea is a largely untapped resource. The Red Sea Research Center is a unique uh, facility and set of competences to explore the Red Sea in terms of its characteristics. Studying the mechanisms that allow plants to uh, grow under extreme conditions is one of the goals of the Center for Desert Agriculture to apply it to crops and plants that are of interest for human nutrition. Another topic of research which is more applied is the research uh, done in the Water Desalination and Reuse Center to develop technologies that allow energy efficient desalination using uh, novel membranes, novel materials, and any type of uh, technology that can improve this. In keeping with this idea of developing a, a strong uh, critical mass uh, of research interests, uh, we have established uh, a program that we call BioNest. Here we can provide support for scientists who have made some observations that could have a potential for technology transfer and biomedical uh, application. There is also education and the division oversees four educational programs. The bioscience program is quite large and broad. And then, of course, marine sciences, environmental sciences and plant sciences are uh, more focused on these topics. What's really unique about this place is the, the freedom that is given to students in developing and conducting their own research. My research project is to fabricate nanowires with magnetic properties, which can be used for different biological applications. 
Kaust is a great place to study at. I'm working on uh, candidate genes that uh, are identified as a contributor to salinity tolerance. Here in Kaus, the design of labs and student offices is more open and make the interaction between students and their professors much easier. I've worked on a collaborative project with uh, University of Cambridge. It aims to understand uh, present-day genetic variation in human populations. KAUST helps you develop great networking skills and also great contacts. It's a very diverse community, students from so many different places, and that gives you a great cultural, uh, I would say, immersion and understanding. We have a great place to live in and we have a great facilities, we have a great labs. All of these help us uh, to achieve more and to develop more.